Are you a content creator, a newsletter writer, or a marketer that constantly needs to discover and create relevant content? Well, keep watching because in this video, I will show you how you can automate your content creation process using Notion and Zapier in less than five minutes. So what we're going to do to help us with our content creation is that we are going to use RSS feeds to be able to add uh, automatically new articles, new YouTube videos, of uh, specific channels and blogs. Uh, every time uh, they are posted. So to do that, we are going to use the RSS2 uh, by Zapier. And then we are going to choose the new item in multiple feeds so that it will be triggered every time there will be a new item. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see now, we can add our feed. So we have a um, limit of 10, but that should be enough for um, our needs. So now we have to have uh, we have to add the URL of the feed we want to uh, follow. So let's start with the blog. So there are several ways to find out the RSS uh, feed of blog or forum or YouTube channel. Uh, but one very easy way is just to go ahead and add a slash and then RSS at the end of the URL, and then that's it. Um, as you can see, we got the entire feed with all the articles that uh, are on the blog. So all you have to do now is copy paste this and add it in our zap. So now let's see how to do it with a YouTube channel. So here let's say you have a YouTube channel like mine where you have the ID and the URL. Well, it's very simple. Uh, just use this. So just take the so just copy paste the ID like this. And then you can use this URL that will allow you to get the RSS uh, feed of the channel. So let's see uh, if it works. So let's go ahead and do that. And so as you can see, you can get the entire RSS feed of my channel. So what do you do when uh, the channel doesn't have uh, the ID in the URL like mine? So let's see, for example, this YouTube channel. As you can see here, they have their username, not the ID. So what you can do to get the ID in this case is just to go ahead and do this. Uh, so choose to get um, the code, the source code of the page. And then you're going to go ahead and search for the channel ID. Okay, and so there you, there you have it, you have channel ID, and then you can copy paste it uh, and just uh, follow the same process we followed with um, the first feed. So, okay, so we have a, a blog, our YouTube channel, that's great. So let's say we want to get, um, we want to follow a forum, how we can do that. So let's say I want to, I'm interested in the make community. Okay, um, and I want to follow specific topic, for example, maybe I want to follow only the um, showcase category. Perfect. So what I can do here, um, so this is a forum that uh, uses the discourse uh, software to run. So with discourse, uh, what you need to do to get the RSS is pretty simple. So with this course to get RSS, all you have to do is just add a dot RSS. And then there you have it. We have the entire RSS feed of the forum. So let's go ahead and paste it in our zap. Okay, uh, so okay, so now let's say you also want to get the RSS feed of a podcast. That's also possible. So first you have to find uh, the podcast um Apple podcast link. So for example, here, let's say we want to get my first million, for example, then you have to copy the link. And then uh, we can use um, a very useful website called get RSS feed. And it's free. And so all you have to do is copy paste the URL. And then there you have it. We have our RSS feed. And you just need to go ahead and copy paste the URL and just put it on top just to make sure that it will retrieve a new items from this feed first. 
and then we can go ahead and continue and then there you have it as you can see uh, we have item from our podcast feed okay so now that we've added our sources we can now add them to our database in notion so let's connect to notion so i'm just going to go ahead and continue and then connect to notion so first okay the event we're going to need is create a database item then if you haven't connected your account to notion yet you should do it so it's super easy all you have to do is sign in then uh, you will need to give uh, Zapier access to your uh, Notion workspace. And then you have several choices. Either you can choose to give Notion access to all the pages in the database, or you can choose to only add specific uh, pages. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to choose this page where I have uh, well, my database. Okay, so then now I can allow access. So now we can set up our Zap. So let's go ahead to the database title the url and for the content we're just going to add description if there is one we see all option okay perfect so now let's test okay so as uh, you can see we have the title the url and we got the description as the content of the page uh great this is already great but let's say we want to go a step further and we want to automatically categorize the different items because we have items coming in from different sources so from the make community for from youtube reviews from uh, the edited blog so let's say uh, we want to automatically categorize our item well this is possible by adding a little code step so let's do it I'm going to go ahead and use code by Zapier. Uh, so the step, uh, we're going to use a JavaScript code, but you can also use Python. So if you don't know how to code, uh, well, you can find a number of um, already written code steps on the Zapier community um, forum or on Stack Overflow. So here, what we're going to do is first, uh, we're going to choose the input data we want to well, use in our code. So in our case, it's going to be the link. And then um, I'm going to add this code. So what this code do is that first, it retrieves, uh, so, first, so first we are getting the link as a variable called value. And then uh, I have this uh, function, uh, find term. So if uh, a term, a specific term is found in the value, well, it will return a specific value. And then I have a switch uh, statement. So here, if uh, the link includes community, then the value will be make community post. Uh, if the value, um, if the, if the, the link contains youtube.com, it's a video and so on and so forth. So, Let's go ahead and try it uh, with our data. So let's go ahead and test the code. So as you can see now, um, the output is YouTube video because the link is a YouTube video. And if we choose a different item, so let's choose, for example, an item from the blog, it should switch and it should be um and it logs so let's test it again and there we go so that's great and now the last thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to add this value in the type field so all you have to do is just go ahead and click on 
and custom and then choose the value of the code step so let's test this again perfect so now it's even better because uh, we're going to be able to automatically uh, well group the different item we have by type okay that's it for today i hope that the video was helpful and if it was as always please make sure to like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye